Okay. Maaser Sheni Perakei Mishnah Dalit. Says the Mishnah. Ketan Podim Neta Ravai. How do you redeem Neta Ravai? And as we, we've learned that the redemption for Maaser uh, Sheni is very simple. If you know the price, then you can assume the price. That's not a problem. But we're just going to see here that it's a little bit more complicated for Neta Ravai because in Neta Ravai, you can, since you're being Podet, when it's already associated, when it's still connected to the ground, it's not it's growing in the, in the ground. So you can, oh, you are going to see, you're going to be podet while it's already connected to the ground. Therefore, you have to reduce the prices. You're only going to pay the value, and not including, or you're going to deduct the amount that it costs you in order to process them, in order to produce them, as we'll see. Says the Mishnah. You take, the, you take a sal, a basket of, uh, in front of three experts. But Omer, you say, Kama adam dot lo besela. How much... How many baskets, or how many baskets of these, let's say, I've got dates, I've got pomegranates, how many baskets of oranges would you give me for a sela? As long as, so how many, how many, I have a sela, it was like $100, I don't know how much it was, whatever. 500 shekel, okay? How many baskets do you want to buy for 500 shekel, assuming that you have to pay the expenses in order to produce those baskets? Okay? And that's why it's a little more complicated, because you have, you have the ability to deduct from the value the yitziot, the expenses of producing of uh, producing these uh, the, the, these uh, this fruit. Okay, that's why you need three bikiim bishuma, three expert evaluators. Okay, distam neta ravai ain't the maviduim because karen ravai, you don't know how much it's worth. The fish it's tarich lechashev a yitziot because we said you have to calculate the expenses that are going to be involved. Okay, so how much would you give me for a sela klomar meaning likach besela? to buy it already now while it's still touching the ground. Meaning, I go to the orange orchard and I say, okay, how, I, how much for 500 shekel, how many baskets would you need to, to get out of this, out of this orchard uh, for, from this 500 shekel, assuming, of course, you're deducting the expenses. And therefore, of course, the oranges are going to be much cheaper than if you are buying them from the store or you're paying wholesale prices. Then you leave that money, the Omer, and you say, Call on Lil Kamizeh. You say, let's say it's like, uh, you know, 300 baskets. You say, call on Lil Kamizeh up to 300 baskets. Mechulal alamau ta'elu. Bekach vekach salim besela. So you say, each basket, 300 baskets, 500 shekel, it's three fists, uh, whatever the, the math is, 60 agarot a basket. So now I know anything that's Lil Kamizeh, anything that's picked from this field, Mechulal alamau, it goes, so when, as soon as they pick it, it's Karen Ravai, it's Neta Ravai, so they picked the orange, it's orange of the fourth year. The kedusha of that orange transfers into the money at a rate of sixty agro per basket. This much, this many salim for uh, the value of a sela. And therefore, as the people are going along, as they're picking karen mervai, the fourth year from the orchard, from the orange orchard, the money is being the value of the money is being transferred into the sela. When we're done picking, the 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 trees are empty. The people can eat the fruit, and now I have a sela's worth of. Of money to take you shalayim as a value of karen ravai of neta ravai. I hope that's all clear. If not, you can watch it again. Feel free to, or feel free to ask me questions at asbolter@gmail.com. I will dedicate the learning of this mission to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.